normal, conforming to a standard, usual, typical, or expected. In modern terms, It's been the same damn shit with the same damn idiots. If I were to describe Kekai Sensen in one sentence, it'd be if anime actually was real life. The series from beginning to end is chocked full of so much unorthodox and paranormal events, and the occasional crazy shit, that after a while you just become numb to it all and yet wanting more at the same time. I'm not actually sure what kind of people would really be into this series though. But that said, it's fucking awesome. The main overarching story would have to be with Leonardo Watch, a photographer who moved to Hell Salem's Lot, which is basically a demon version of New York, after having an abnormal encounter that led to his sister going blind and him getting the all-seeing eyes of the gods. Why did this happen? I don't know. Seems legit. The beginning of the story starts with Leo chasing a supersonic monkey, followed by a bank robbery, leading to him coming across a member of Libra who mistakes him for some other guy who kicked the bucket. From then on, it's just a plethora of event after event after event after... Is there a rest stop between now and the fucking point? If it seems like I'm not really discussing this series all too seriously, that's mainly because I don't think it's meant to be taken too seriously. And I really like series like this. I'm not actually sure what kind of people would really be into this series, though. Wait, I think I just insulted myself. They make one of the characters' feats be accomplished through the literal power of boners. I'm not making this shit up. <laughs> Aside from events in the show, its center stage is the colorful assortment of characters, both figuratively and very literally. And their abilities, without looking too much into it at the very least, I can tell have some sort of reference or inspiration to other works like Marvel Comics. Help, they even point that out at one point. What you got me playing a spider-like web slinging man for? It is enjoyable to watch see each of these characters work off of each other. And that includes minor characters as well. Sometimes with friendly chemistry, and sometimes Did I disappoint you, you lunatic? <laughs> Find my camera pop your dick like a balloon animal! <laughs> God, I love this show. <laughs> While it's mainly a comedy series set in a supernatural environment, that doesn't mean it's void of its fair share of dramatic or even touching moments. That's another part of it I like. It's more than just comedy and citywide destruction and chaos. On top of that, watching this blind in both seasons, I learned so much about the characters that, starting off, I never would have guessed about them. Each of them have their own ways of bringing their own chaos or abnormality to the table, and it's both funny and sort of wholesome sometimes. Speaking of, the soundtrack? Now, what can I say except this is one of the best soundtracks out of an anime. Now, if you know me, I'm a lover of jazz-influenced soundtracks in anime, and this is no exception. That's Taisei Iwasaki as the composer, who's done music for live-action films and dramas since 2006, with Kakai Sensen being the first anime he actually composed for. The music to many longtime anime fans may actually sound a little familiar, as, listening back to it, a set of tracks do sound like they take inspiration from other series before, but at the same time having a distinct arrangement to be its own thing. The acting in this is, of course, it's wonderful. And again, if you know me, I'm one to give both Japanese and English voice acting a decent look at an anime. And the dub is definitely one to check out for yourself. Aaron Dismuk is perfect as Leonardo Watch, bringing a calm, nervous, and overreactive performance to the table. Ian Sinclair, J. Michael Tatum, Stephanie Young, and so many other actors and actresses bring their A-game to the table, even in more smaller roles that don't last too long. Also in the dub, you get to hear Colleen Klinkenbeard do her niece impression from Bacchanal, and it's kind of fucking hilarious. You two, you dirty lion piece of shit! You can both run hell to <laughs> Most likely, you probably expect me to bring up the animation, but... Honestly, I feel like there's not much to say. Not that it's bad, not that it's mundane, it's just... It's Studio Bones! Like, if you like Full Metal Alchemist, My Hero Academia, Noragami, Mob Psycho, Soul Eater, and basically a lot of other popular series they've done, then it should go without saying that the animation is beautiful. A number of these shots in the scenes I and many others before me have brought up when it comes to Sakuga and anime, and the team behind Kekai Sensen's animation gave their all for this. If you haven't already, give it a shot. You got plenty of eye candy. Side note, Chain is best girl and KK is best mom, don't at me. You got a kick-ass soundtrack, you got a kick-ass cast of characters, and you got a bunch of chaos every episode. Some people might not see this as being the norm, but much like Leo throughout Kekai Sensen, 
normal is what you make of it. Hey, thanks for watching. I know this is a little different from my other anime discussions, but I, I just needed some something to cheer me up, honestly. So I need, need something to take my mind off of a lot of things now. If you like this video, you might be down to check out my other content, or even subscribe if you weren't already. If you can and want to support me financially, feel free to check out my Ko-Fi and support me. If you like art from me, follow me on Twitter and ArtStation, and if you like shitposts and comedy, feel free to check out my other channel. Thank you all so much for your time, and I hope you all take care. Peace.